Hi everyone, my name is Yang Yang Yang. Today, Kimiko Ryokai and I are presenting on exploring laughter sound visualizations for self-reflection. Laughter typically contains positive emotion. Visual representation of laughter sounds can make the transitory enjoyment enduring. Being able to reflect on positive laughter shared with friend, family, and loved one via interactive visualizations may make us feel more connected, especially in times of isolation. In this research, we studied how visualizations of captured laughter sounds can be used for self-reflection, such as invoking memories, supporting emotional expressions, and promoting relationships. The goals of this research were to highlight the unique properties of laughter sound and how laughter visualization differs from traditional sound or music visualization. Explore different types of laughter visualizations that address the quality and quantity of laughter sound through temporal, spatial, and social aspects. Have people collect laughter from their loved ones and study what laughter means for them through each visualization. Identify emerging themes and design opportunities related to how laughter visualization contributes to personal reflection. Within the field of sound wave visualization, laughter visualization is unique. In addition to sound wave properties such as frequency, amplitude, waveform, and duration, other properties of laughter that should be addressed in this visualization include the speaker of laughter, whom the voice belongs to, number of people involved, whether it is a single voice laughter or a mix of multiple voices, types of laughter, whether it is a giggle, chanko, or belly laugh, purity of laughter, if there are words or sentences captured along with the laughter. There is also the social context in which the laughter was produced, such as when and where it was made, on what occasions, and with whom laughter happened. We had many initial sketches to visualize laughter in various forms. To highlight the properties mentioned just now, we selected five different types of laughter visualizations among the sketches. We will walk you through each visualization briefly. Number one, laughter tree. Laughter tree visualizes the individual quality of laughter instances by representing each laugh sound as a string of shapes. We designed the algorithm to read the amplitude of laughter sample every 0.2 seconds and map it to the size of a shape. We created two versions. Version A contains interactive laughter patterns made of monochrome circles. Version B was a variation based on A, where different speakers are represented with contrasting color palettes, further adding squares to make the growing shapes more interesting. <laughs> Number two, laughter calendar. Laughter calendar visualizes how much laughter happened over time. On the calendar, each member of a group was denoted in one color, and every day was colored differently according to how much each member laughed. Given the difficulty of acquiring data from participants over a long span, we created a mock-up for this design. Number three, laughter map. Laughter map presented the quantity of laughter occurrences on a spatial dimension. We designed two versions with emojis and color scales, respectively. We created a mock-up for this design, too. Number four, laughter creators. <laughs> 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 laughter creators explore whether we could use anthropomorphic representations for individual laughter sounds. We set three parameters to control the appearance of creators. Colors indicated the speakers, 
Sights represented the duration, and the shapes visualized the types of laughter. The design explored the quality of each laughter as a lively anthropomorphic form. Number five, laughter paintbrush. <laughs> 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 Laughter paintbrush aimed at inviting people to use capture laughter sounds for art creation. Each color represented one laughter sound. As a user selected a color and drew on the canvas, the width of the paint stroke varied in real time according to the amplitude of the laughter sound being played. With the prototype, we explore how people may use laughter for audio-visual creation. We recruited seven participants for the study and asked each of them to collect three-hour audio files that contains naturally occurring laughter from their informal gatherings with friends and family. We employed an automatic laughter detection algorithm to identify and extract laughter instances from the audio files. We implemented each participant's unique laughter visualizations based on their captured laughter sounds. Let each participant interact with the visualizations and ask heuristic questions to study the design opportunities of laughter visualization. Here are our findings according to each visualization. Laughter tree elicit participants to celebrate the unique quality of each laugh and each speaker behind the laugh. Most participants preferred version B over version A and indicated their interest in using version B for playful occasions, such as printing out frame art, screen savers, stickers, and even 3D printed accessories like a necklace or a keychain. The collection of laughter trees inspired people to use them for personal documentation and reflection, such as gratitude journals. Participants regarded laughter calendar and laughter map as personal summaries or shared records of laughter. Visualizing the quantity of laughter over time and over space encouraged people to reflect on questions such as, when was my happiest or unhappiest week? What did I do during that week? Who did I spend the time with? And where was the space I had the happiest moments? They imagined it being inspirational for future activities or spending more time with those who brought them joyful experiences. Laughter creators invoked a mix of reactions from the participants. Half people could imagine sending them as personalized interactive emojis on chat app. The other half could not make the association between shapes, colors, and sounds. We learned that people tend to attribute different shapes to different speakers instead of different types of laughter. To anthropomorphize laughter, the laughter from the same speaker would need to have consistent visual elements. Laughter Paintbrush invited the participants to create art with their personal laughter sounds and imagine how they may share their creations. Some participants mentioned that they might draw, print, and send their paintings to their significant others as a tangible momentum of their time together. Others preferred to invite their family members, such as children and the elderly, to draw to relive their times together. Through the study, we identified five emerging themes for laughter visualization, which were laughter visualization as momentum, Laughter stands as a symbol of its speaker. Visualizing laughter turned the joyful memory with the speaker into concrete forms for personal reflection. Laughter visualization for emotional expression. Transforming laughter into visual representations may serve as an alternative or supplementation to spoken language or written messages for emotional expression. Laughter visualization as relationship catalyst. Reproducing laughter of an intimate group as visual forms might enhance emotional communication and promote relationships with each other. Different from data visualization. Laughter visualization for personal reflection is meant to be evocative and preservable. Its aesthetics may be prioritized over accuracy. The context matter. 
The visualization of laughter should highlight the event and context associated with laughter to honor the person and the moment behind the laughter. In our interactive prototypes, we selected amplitude as the sound wave feature in the visualization. We hope to explore other wave properties in future versions. Also, we hope to further develop some prototypes for multi-model storytelling and evaluate them with more diverse users such as youth, seniors, or families with children. In addition, reflecting on laughter for therapeutic users may also be further explored.